hey guys i am back with another video today today i have my l3 haul this was part of her restock ready to ship um for july i ordered this july 18th um it's now the 20 something <laughs> my days are like running to each other um the day i upload this is the day that i received it um she did have a um sale on her stock the week before this restock it was 10 percent off the website um i placed um an order for only two items um i made a comment in the note to save my order for the ready to ship so that it would all ship together um i did get refund on um the shipping so yeah let's jump right into this video I have my order invoice as always she has a sticker it says all we have is now so live in the moment I do have my coffee here you guys I have had a very long morning so my coffee was very much needed um, let's see if I can find the samples here and I think I got them yes so here is the bag of samples. Let's get this open here. I haven't sniffed anything. This is an unboxing with you guys. Oh, this is very strong. I smell this straight out of the bag. Um, this is Espresso Sugar Cookie Royale. I smell the espresso straight out of the bag. I thought this was might have been a um from the color like a root beer. Okay. Um I don't like this. I don't like um the espresso. It is very strong. It's almost just like a um smelling espresso dry. Um I don't care for that one. Here we have um, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and Celestial Sea. This smells really, really nice. Um, I don't really get that too much of that like um, muskiness from the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. I have to look up what Celestial Sea is. I'm going to hold off on how this smells because I smell the espresso as well. Here we have, um, okay, I'm thinking this just might be covered under the stairs. I think this might have been something with strawberry in it. Oops, I'm not sure. I know I've seen her covered under the stairs before. Oh, this smells really, really good. Um, here is the heart. So I'm thinking that her cupboard under the stairs does have strawberry in it. Um, I do get some strawberry in this. This smells really, really good. Um, I don't think I would like this on its own. I think I would like that with... Um, like white elephant exchange or something else added to it. But I do like it. I'm not sure that I would melt that by itself though. So the first thing I see here is Slytherin. This is clean steel, peppermint and pheromones. Oh, wow. Oh, this smells so good. I'm not sure what um, pheromones is, but I definitely get that peppermint. It's that peppermint that sticks in your nose. These are their puppy packs. And these um, weigh uh, from three ounces and up. Well, probably just a little over three ounces. But they come with um, a bunch of different little shapes. And then um, 
so this almost smells like I get manly and peppermint. I I definitely get that peppermint. That it is very heavy peppermint. This is one um I have to keep sniffing to um get anything else aside from the peppermint, which I don't mind. I love peppermint. But I almost get like Like a sexy man with a lot of mint. Or a lot of mint with a sexy man. Almost, um, almost rugged type. I don't know why. I really, really like this one though. I can't wait to melt this. Next we have hamptons or evening in the hamptons this was one i had in a blend in a mystery bag um earlier this year and it was mixed with um i think strawberry soda and something else and i did not like this you guys um i have requested this only because i've seen so many different people speak about it and how it's such a different clean scent so i decided i'll pick one up Okay, this, this is a single oil. I really have to get good at reading notes. Um, so many vendors will describe one single oil in so many different ways that this is now my third time having this scent and each vendor has has uh, described it differently. This is one I am not a fan of. I don't like it. I haven't melted it because I don't like it on cold. I have this from Destination Wax. It came as a sample. It's called Beach Linen. I'm not a fan of it. I may just melt that sample. It's the same exact scent. I may just melt that sample just to see how it is on warm. Because apparently it's... So I've gotten it once as a sample and I've ordered it twice. So... It seems like a scent that I'm like drawn to by the notes. But I'm not just... I'm not feeling it on cold. It is very, it is a clean scent, almost um, like it's beachy, almost kind of floral, but I don't know. It has something that just throws it off for me that it's just, I'm, me personally, I'm just very much not a fan of, but I'll, I'll warm it just to see how um, I like it. Um, that Smoga Shop has the same thing and I think hers is Cabana Cotton. I want to say that's what it's called next we have christine this is leather pink sugar and love spell and again these are the shapes they come with a bunch of different shapes very cute my camera wants to work for me today with focusing okay so i don't get pink sugar in this Usually I don't really get pink sugar in blends. Um, this is one, I'm gonna melt a small piece to see how I like it. But this is one I feel like I'm gonna have to let sit for a bit. Okay, now I get the pink sugar. So I get the pink sugar, I definitely get the love spell and the leather. But it, to me, it is very much like a, like a rusted, like a rugged leather scent. Like a very much rugged, almost worn out type leather. That's what I get. It's not um, a very strong leather um, scent to me. 
Um, I think that might be all I got for puppy packs. Um, it did come with a spoon. I did order some scoops. This is the first time I'm having one of her stainless steel spoons. And these are so cute. They are smaller than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a lot longer like her, um, her plastic ones. But these are so cute. I really like these. Like I said, they are stainless steel. So you will have them for a very, very long time. So next I see is her Bitty Betty Loaves. And this one is an Aslan. This is Cashmere, Twilight Woods, and Sweater Weather. Warm, cozy, scent so incredible. This was a last minute um, for me. Well, I saw this last minute when doing the, um, making my list. Oh, you guys. Okay, so here is it. I really like this color. It's, um... It looks like it's coming up orange on the camera, but it's very much like a, um, like a berry type of color. Yeah, it looks orange. This is, oh, wow. Okay. So smelling it on cold, this is one that I want in a loaf. So I don't really get sweater weather on its own. I have smelled Twilight Woods. It is um, a Bath and Body Works type, but it's been so long. But this is very nighttime. This almost to me, um, when I smell this, I think of melting this nighttime in the winter, in a cabin, in front of a fire. Um, obviously, no bakery or, or woody type scents at all. But it is just... Oh, I think that cashmere kind of just ties it all together. But it is just very warm and cozy. And almost... Almost slightly fresh to my nose I mean the freshest to me is barely there barely there but it is such a beautiful um, as she described it it is very like warm and cozy I really really like this I don't really get strong sweater weather if um if I get anything in this, I would say it has it has to be the Twilight Woods. Twilight Woods, Cashmere, and then Sweater Weather. But I feel like that sweater weather to me is um bringing like some type of freshness. It's bringing that freshness that I'm smelling. But this is really, really nice. I really, really like this. Okay, I think that might have been the only bitty betty that I got. Let's do I have loaves and scoops. Ah, uh, let's go for loaves. So here we have snooze button. My dear friend Angela has sent me some um to try out um for my birthday back in April and I melted it. I want to say it was a couple weeks ago. Why I waited, I have no idea. But this has been that lavender, mint, creamy blend that I've been looking for. I absolutely love this one. It's called Snooze Button. This is Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Be Noel, and Butter Mints. I really, really love this one. Oh, it's so strong. A heavy thrower. So I definitely get the um, butter mints. I definitely get the sweet lavender. Um, 
to me it, it's very much a sweet lavender i don't really get too much herbal out of this um if you ever smell buttermint that's what this smells like with sweet lavender um to me, this is not one of those blends that um, you read the notes and you think it's going to smell one way and it smells a different. No, this is going to smell exactly what the, what the notes say. It smells like um, butter mints, which is a very, to me, like creamy mint with sweet lavender. So it is just a very creamy mint with sweet lavender. Yes, baby. Sorry, you guys, my kitties. But um, yes, this smells like peppermint butter mints like a creamy um uh, more creamy butter mint with sweet lavender this for me is the perfect nighttime melt i absolutely love it the next loaf we have is strax acid bath this was one i was so excited this is um this one and another one is one i was so excited about in this whole order order um, Angela had told me about this blend, um, and how amazing it is. Danny, um, raves about this. This one is Boogie Be Gone, Peppermint and Rosemary Mint. And I'm so happy that I even, um, got this order because I was busy. Um, I had someone place this order for me. So I was so lucky to even, um, get any of these. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love this. Okay. So this is her Boogie Be Gone, which is this one. Um, peppermint and Rosemary Mint. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay. So I'm going to smell these two side by side because I want to see if... Um, oh, you know what? I'm going crazy. This is not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking this is her Boogie Be Gone. Her Boogie Be Gone is um, it's like a Vicks Vapor Rub. It's what it is. Which I have smelled before. So this is definitely a Vicks Vapor Rub, but not as astringent. This is, you definitely get... Um, more of that mint i don't really get heavy um menthol in this i get menthol but it's not heavy at all i i feel like i get it because of the boogie be gone but this is very much to me peppermint I can't even say like I get heavy rosemary mint. But this is definitely, her, I smell Vicks Vapor Rub and peppermint. Um, That peppermint and rosemary mint for me definitely tones down that... Um, that heavy menthol, that mentholatum scent that you get with Vicks. It is still very cooling in the nose though. These are her loaves. Let's see if I can get this one out. Yes. This is a very um, beautiful green, almost like a forest green. I really like this. Well, that's how it looks on camera. It actually looks more like a... Um, like a rosemary mint green like a very light green it looks a lot darker um on camera let's see there we go that's more the um it's very light it, it's coming up a lot darker on um camera so this one is very very good um i really should have picked up two of these this was some herbal lavender and um like a vanilla bean oil. no like a marshmallow or vanilla not vanilla bean oil oh, that would be amazing especially with some lavender added in there that would be the perfect nighttime scent 
Next we have is Fluff and Fold. This is her Domestic Goddess and Pink Chiffon. This was another sample Angela sent to me. And I was very much on the fence about it because when I melted it, it was almost as if it was present, but also barely there. So I've kind of just put it to the side, left it alone, and I came back to it. And I really, really like this. Oh. Oh, wow. So smelling this in such a um, bigger size. Her domestic goddess brings back a memory for me. And I'm not sure what it is. Oh, you guys, this is beautiful. I definitely get that pink chiffon. Um, pink chiffon is a Bath and Body Works type. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's such a feminine but girly but not um like childish not to me at least oh this is such a just beautiful scent i don't want to say like i get like a heavy like or even like a laundry it just smells like It smells very fresh, very clean, very soft, very pretty and beautiful. Um, it's not a very strong, I don't want to even say fresh because it doesn't smell fresh. It just smells very clean, but not a laundry detergent clean or like a fabric softener or dryer sheet. It just smells just very clean and pretty and beautiful i really really love this i'm so happy that i got it this was one that i picked up um when she had her 10 percent off and i'm so happy i did pick it up because it definitely went out of stock the next and last loaf is the one that I picked up when she had her 10% off. This is Sleepy Time and Boogie Be Gone. See, I was trying to, I'm thinking that that one was this. And that's why I was saying, let me smell it. Because <laughs> I knew I had got a blend with her Boogie Be Gone. I'll have to um, put the descriptions in the, um, the scent notes in the description box. I know I've been so bad at doing that my past couple videos. Um, I do have some time today, so I'm going to go back to my videos and kind of update everything in the description box. Okay. So her sleepy time has to have lavender. Because I get Boogie Be Gone. Okay. I'm going to see if I can pop this out of the loaf because um, this on cold for me, it's, um, it's very light. Okay. I can't really get this one. Let's see if I can kind of pry it out just a bit out of this loaf pan. Bear with me, guys. Okay. I can't really get it out because it's kind of folded over there, but that's okay. I'm going to just rub it and see. Okay. So her sleepy time has to have some kind of lavender in it. Because what I mainly get out of this is um, the Boogie Be Gone. I get a Vicks Vapor Rub. But this one, um, oddly enough, is not strong or cold. But I have um, 
notice that Vicks Paper Rubs um, scents are heavy, heavy, heavy throwers on warm. So don't let um, me saying that this is light on cold deter you from wanting to pick it up. I don't know. I have to look up the notes and see what kind of lavender this is because to me, I don't get her herbal lavender. She has a lavender that I absolutely love. And I can't describe what this smells like aside from um, her boogie be gone. I can tell there's lavender in it. I just don't know what kind of lavender is in this. I feel like it might be a lavender that um, I might not be a fan of. I don't know. I'm going to... This is going to be a, um, a loaf that I chop up to see how the middle of it smells. So that's definitely going to be an update. Um... I do post in the Facebook groups of the vendors that I do melt and I try to update. I'm more so, um, I do on Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram mainly. So yeah, that's well where um, you'll most likely see my updates. Next, we have my next long-awaited one. I could not wait to get this one. This was one that I have requested she pour. I like this green. This, this is very much a like winter type of green, like a tree green. This is definitely coming up the color that you see. So this is um, peppermint, herbal lavender, and adipose. And her adipose is... I think like her toasted marshmallow, marshmallow fluff, and marshmallow jet, or marshmallow and a marshmallow like jet puff. I'm not sure, but I know it's three different marshmallows. So let's see how this one smells. Oh, you guys. She did herself on this one. So I bought two of them. I did take the seal off, so I'm going to show you guys on here. They do come with the seal um, for, like, any type of leakage. She does, Jennifer does do that for the summertime. So smelling the top of this, me personally, I've learned with scoops, you got to get in there and scoop it out to see how it really smells because I feel like with so many scoops, I have smelled the top of them and then gotten into it. And it's like, whoa, that didn't smell the same. So this will be a good time to show you how her um, texture of her scoops are too. So this is very soft only because um, this is was on the, the um, mail truck all day. Oh, yes, this is exactly like I wanted it to be. I get that mint the most, but it's very creamy and I get the herbal lavender. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is exactly it came out um, exactly how I thought it would. I love her scoops. Um Jennifer L3 has to be the vendor that has my favorite scoops, hands down. My second to that probably would be um, that Smell Good Shop. But this came out exactly how I wanted it to. Oh, wow. You guys, if there's any more in this website, on the website, pick it up. Do me the favor, because if not, I will buy every last one that <laughs> she has in stock. This is so beautiful. This is the perfect nighttime melt that I was looking for. Give me one second so I can grab a napkin to wipe that spoon off. Yes, but this was a perfect um, 
perfect, perfect, perfect. And her scoops um, wipe off very, very easy. Not messy at all. I don't mind her scoops. I don't mind scoops at all. I know a lot of people don't like scoops because um, they don't like the mess of them. Me personally, I don't mind nothing um, that a paper towel can't fix. So I did pick up two of those. My next one was a request as well. This is Fluffy Towels and Island Fresh Gain. I did this one with K's in a custom and I absolutely love it. I have so many customs in my K's cart and I'm just finding it very hard to place the order. So I wanted to do this with um, L3 to see how it would come out. <clears throat> And yep, this came out exactly how I wanted to. Not too heavy. On either one. So when I did um, my K's, I did a 55% Island Fresh Gain, 45% Fluffy Towels, and that was perfect. Neither one of them overpowered the other. It was such a perfect, perfect um, blend. And this one came out perfect too. Yes. This one I am also going to go into. Well, yeah, I'm going to go into this one to see how I like it. Yes. So I can tell off the bat that this one is more heavy on the Island Fresh Gain. Which me personally, I don't mind. Island Fresh Gain and Fluffy Towels are um, in my top three of my favorite single oils. So I don't mind that I smell um, either one more than the other at all. But this came out exactly how I wanted it to. I really, really love this one. I will probably end up picking more of this along with this one if they are still in stock next one we have is edible undies and this happens to be the last because i did order two edible undies happens to be one of my favorite laundries from her this is pink sugar and her spin cycle blend her spin cycle is a like laundry and yes you guys i love it it's a very clean, pretty laundry. Not so much pretty like um, Fluff and Fold. Fluff and Fold is very much a soft, girly, pretty without being like, um, like childish. This one is a, to me, pretty feminine laundry. Is what this one is. I really love this one. She did have another laundry blend that I wanted to pick up. Um, and I completely forgot to put it on my list. It was her Downy April Fresh Island Fresh Green and Pink Sugar, I believe. Which I did request her to pour Downy Clean Breeze. Yes, buddy. Sorry. I did request her Downy Clean Breeze, um, Island Fresh Gain, and Pink Sugar because that was one I received from Angela and I absolutely loved it. But um, she did the Downy April Fresh instead. So if either one or if this one or this one and the Downy April Fresh is still in stock on the website, I am going to pick them up, especially because I know what these smell like. I absolutely love them so yeah if you guys ordered anything from this pre-order leave it in the comments let me know what you got let me know which one was your favorite and i'll see you in the next one bye guys